Hello, today's reading comes from Matthew eleven twenty eight. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. There's been a lot of times in my life where I felt tired, where I felt burdened by stuff. Um, and especially this year, I think that's magnified stuff as well because we're all isolating. We've not got the human contact we have. Um, we've got uncertainty about jobs and money and ill health um, and all the rest of that stuff. And we know that when we're faced with life's burdens, that it leads to a great weariness. It does tire you out. But God doesn't want us to be tired and weighed down. And he tells us this in this piece of scripture, which I've fallen on so many times in my life. Um, and I've just got a little story uh, to tell you, which is one day two guys were walking through the countryside and as they walked, they spotted a, an elderly lady sitting on the edge of a river. And she was crying and she was upset. And the reason was there was no bridge for the lady to get across and she couldn't get across the river. So the first guy kindly offered to, to give her a lift over the river. We'll carry you across if you'd like. Thank you, she said gratefully and accepting their help. So the two men joined hands and lifted her between them and carried her across the river. And when they got to the other side, they set her down and she went her way and they went their way. And then after about a mile or so, the second guy began to complain. Look at my clothes, he said. They're all filthy from carrying that, that woman across the river. And my back still hurts and, um, from lifting her and it's getting stiff. The first guy just smiled and nodded his head. A few more miles up the road, the second guy moaned, my back is hurting me so badly and it's all because we had to carry that silly woman across the river. I can't go any further because of the pain. The first guy looked down at, his, at, at, at the second guy who was now lying on the ground moaning and said to him, have you not wondered why I'm not complaining? Your back hurts because you're still carrying the woman, but I set her down five miles ago. The second guy was still carrying the burden of what he did for that woman, whereas the other guy had let it down. And it's great to ask God um, to take our burdens, but we've got to let it go as well. Um, a little thing I found on the internet, Lord, I'm so discouraged, I don't know what to do. I have so many burdens and I gave them all to you, but you didn't take them, Jesus. Will you tell me why that's so? The answer's simply little one, because you won't let go. So let's, I always try to say, let's, let's just give Jesus our burdens um, because he wants them uh, and he wants us to have a peaceful life in him. Lord, we thank you that you are a God that tells us if we're tired with life's burdens, we can hand it to you. Lord, we pray for all the people out there that are feeling heavy with burdens, financial burdens, physical burdens, mental burdens. We pray that, that they will hand the weight over to you and let go so that they will have that sense of peace that only you can provide in our lives. In your name, amen.